connected to O2. Time and tide waits for no man. Tami Maletai, Elefa Tali Setangata. Elefa Talia, the Tami Aletua Moe Ma. Time and tide wait for no man comes from an old English proverb Time and tide wait for none. I mean, stop procrastinating, do it now. The old proverb is usually interpreted to mean that the course of neither time nor the sea's tides can be halted or delayed. So we better get on with it or get on with what you're supposed to do or plan to. O le wingo lau tu ya tia o malowi loa, malefa winga ina. A fali wina ile tu fali tino. Elefa tali le pe mai le tai, fatua yalu le tifa hota. Pole sua mai le tai, fatua yalu le etita ele se tulo. A fali wingo le tu fali nanga. Elefa tali le tai mi le tua ya se ita jo. Elefa pia ete alu ete fai me o le nei lalani. Se malia lo loto. One fatua saule ya Yesu. Elefa tali ya le bala au le tua mo e mau. Wa ai lo abanoa imisi. Um, to me, it's a reminder that life is short and our time on earth is short as well. Um, it's a reminder that whatever is going on in my life shouldn't hinder my walk with God regardless of what is happening around me. Um, time is still ticking away. It also serves as a reminder to me that there is no perfect time to seek God and that we should seek him or I should seek him always. But I told us if it's too far more more. I went to meet a meter in the astral tayo. I went to the law, so may I a tupu at tayo. After Ecclesiastes 11, verse 4, this says, Whoever watches the wind will not plant, and whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. You have to be ready and I have to be ready. So, what is that? We also have a woman who will tell me. Five times, we will be silly. We will also have a woman. I will tell you that we will be able to. Ia tu mau lo fatu tua, ma ia tu mau mau ono sayi pupu angau le au mai. Ma sao ni au, awal ia fio mai lo tato matai. If I'm being honest, um, I'm not as ready as I hoped I would be, as I hoped to be. Ah, uh, umafu fau la lani me me o tutu pui, innovating. Um, not for me, but for my children, for the children, for all the children, for children in general. But I try to keep my mind and my eyes fixed on Jesus and his promises to us, his people. I try to remind myself and my kids that God will never fail or abandon his people. So, yeah. When I think about what's going on in the world, it, you know, I'm, I don't think I'm as ready as I should be, but it doesn't mean that I can't continue to prepare or we can't continue to prepare, um, you know, for the end or for the Uma. Like the <laughs>
Ana ubi lo ainga. Iya si swinga uli nilo lang. Iya fengsa meso fengsa uli nilo lang. Iya lifa ma ma lockdown o ma chui o vaccine. So uti manao ya prepare lo ni tanga. I miss you, Lord. I ain't no more time here alone. As Kiero told me, I'll do for you, but you, Sao Mia, na yes, Sao Mia, oi, oi, malo ba tanga uma, oi, wo fa pot pot so ma ya te oi, ya fai fai oi, malo leo ya ilato. What would I do differently? Is financially, fai si fulwa i mitau langa. Spiritually, to angai to revive ile a tua e ala le te talo. Ma fai tau le a fongo pa ia le tua. E ma wai le ma alosi, ma ia la fwa i tui na nao le nei soi fuanga. Ma su ia le o langa tua i, i se o langa fau. Le a fe me ye le mua mua pe te ui fao lan fai pe fitu. Wa wa la te mai le ngata anga o mea o malawa. Ole na ia fau tau tai, ma ia matala o tau, male te talo. I don't think I would have done much different, to be honest. I feel like when I, th I feel like we when we s we say that if we had known. I feel like we, we, people or, you know, us, I feel like I would say, oh, if I had known, I would have done this, this and this dif differently. I think we think that we would make different choices had we known that the world was coming to an end or, you know, that the world is coming to what it is now. But to be honest, I don't think I would, I personally would have done much different. And saying that though, growing up in the church, growing up in Sistec, as a child in the 90s, you'd be lying if you said you didn't know what was coming. We knew, we all knew, we all know. Um, but we didn't know that it would be this soon. We didn't know that it would be during our time. I think it was far a far thought in our mind <laughs> that, um, you know, as we were kids that we would grow up in the time that we were in the, the Pukalamis, that we would see the Sawanga and things like that, that we would see it in our time. I think a few things I think I would have had tried to do different would be homeschooling my children earlier. Um, maybe I would have taken Taekwondo. Um, as a youth leader back then, um, the one thing I would have done differently is I would have fought for my youth more. I would have thought that we prepare them mentally for this. I would have thought that we pushed um, the focus back into Pathfinders, mainly survival training like we did back in the day, back when we were kids. Um, but last but not least on things I would have done differently is kids. I would not have chosen to have children. Had I known that they would be alive during these times, I probably wouldn't have chosen to have children. But God's way is not ours, and they are here, we are here, and our children um, are already here. So God must have a purpose for them, and God must have a purpose for us. All we can do is continue to raise God-fearing warriors until God calls them to be used. Otsalvo SVT Watsaso yai chemi fengata Waleto e moi foili ali o lalani Etsa mo fai e toi la loina itsa to Otsalvo Otsaso uma ele se lao pesene Etso fu uma ta to Ma o ta to vai vai nga Ole nei soi fuanga Ai pe tai 
Peata so tu tu mau ma sali tomu malefatu tua o sao nei tato ile na aso e a fio ma yai le matai fai mai le le mau fai lingas fut sasi e non fai puse fulu e e fa mau se o o ile oti o na batu le ya se o le palle o le ola SVD ia tato tu tu mau ma ia tato no fo sa uni a wale na aso ia fia ma ia lo tato ma tai o le fesili ua e sa uni po ua e ta pena foi sali oi sali foi au sua fesu amen ilo o fau tuanga o sa o fau tuanga mo le auto le vou in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Son of the Holy Spirit. The Son of the Holy Spirit, the time and time wait for no man. The Son of the Holy Spirit, and the Son of the Holy Spirit. You have to be ready, everything. Yes, the Son of the Holy Spirit, the Son of the Holy Spirit, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Pai posuma tolu Na ya matala ya oto Ya oto tu mau i fatu tua Ya oto fa amtamtani Ya fa malusi oto Atai Well first Of Ephesians 5 15 to 16 says Be very careful then how you live Not as unwise But as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. My encouragement is exactly that. Time and tide wait for none. Every second, every minute we have, prepare. Prepare yourself, prepare your families. Time is short. Last but not least, if you are here today, now, then you are born for this very moment. You were born for this fight. My encouragement for the youth, particularly young couples, mainly young mums out there fearing for our kids, it is no coincidence that our children are here in this moment. It is no coincidence that you're their mum or their dad. God has chosen us to raise arrows for his army, and we just need to hold on to God's promises and continue to sharpen these arrows for him. Don't forget that we know how this all ends. God wins always, regardless of all these lockdowns and everything going on, regardless of, you know, um, being discriminated against for whatever reason in this day and age. In the end, God always wins. Esther 4 verse 14 says, For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, and you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not attained royalty for such a time as this. Proverbs 16 verse 4 says, The Lord has made everything for its own purpose. So that is my last encouragement. Um, for the youth and for our young families is that we were born for this moment um, not to be afraid and just to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and continue to fight the good fight